Hey guys, welcome. Today we are going to create an illustration of Moana character with oil pastels. Without further ado, let's draw. Creating a big circle for draw her face and small circle for her neck and shoulder. I'm extending the lines to draw the character's hands. I really want her to hold the seashell towards her. It's like illustrating she is listening to the seashell and get excited. Something like that, isn't it cool? Now let's give her some clothes. She's wearing a nice tube top, wavy shape on the bottom. Has stripes on her top as you can see in the picture. She has a lot of detail in her tube top of course. Now let's draw her chain. The chain that her grandma present to her. Without it, it doesn't seem like Moana I guess. So let's draw it. And adding some guideline and draw her eyes her eyes her brows and her nose trying to extend it a bit and finally i'm drawing her lips to give her a nice big smile Smiling is important for this character because she is listening to the seashell and get excited, happy. And I want that vibes to bring out in the facial expression. Now, there is a lot more space at the bottom, so fire, filling it with by drawing her hips and her skirt a bit, her shawl showing through. That's okay, I guess. I don't want the a lot more space down there. So filling it with her hips. Now drawing her ear and her flowy, nice hair, which is flowing in the water, of course. And one more thing. All the products that I have been used in this video have been listed down in the list description box. If you guys are interested, you can check it out. Uh, yeah, without further ado, let's continue the drawing. I guess it will be perfect to create a beach vibe at the background and some seashell to get the beach look. Maybe one or two, no, three to four can do. Three to four, five seashells and one pretty looking starfish. And adding some details to the seashells. She's holding it too, looking pretty good. Taking my needed eraser, I'm going to lightening the pencil drawing to avoid strikiness to the drawing. When we color, I do want it to add some strikiness to it. Since I don't have a black in my colors i'm taking the black from this small oil pastel set just the black only i'm using none of the any of the colors i'm just using the black and i'm going to do some swatches with my sketchbook these are the browns that i own these two brown i'm going to use for the background and Let's watch the rest of it, the color. First color. 
it has a little bit of burgundy tint in it and the second color feel like dark chocolate shade the third color looks like a chocolate shade and the fourth color kind of looks like a red and burgundy tint in it and the fifth color slightly yellowish tone and the sixth color is a medium brown and the final it's a light brown these are the colors i'm going to use for the hair and these three colors i'm going for the skin tone well let's start coloring first taking the chocolate shade and start building it up slowly on her forehead just to give some depth in it Next, taking the medium brown, I'm coloring slightly to blend it out the dark shade. And finally, taking the lighter brown, I am blending the colors into it. This is the main skin tone. The light brown is the skin tone. And the other colors are just the shadow to the skin tone. Okay, one more thing. To avoid harsh light, try to color not like this. Taking again medium brown and outlining the darker area on the face. I'm just doing this for the shadow tone for the face. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to color the rest of the face with the light brown. There is a shadow in between the face and the seashell because she is holding next to her face so there will be some shadow into it. Now coloring the rest of the face with the right light brown. And I'm using the lighter brown, the yellowish tone into it to highlight the nose and forehead a bit. Going back with the light brown. I almost forgot about her lips taking orange, light pink and white. Slightly adding orange and then pink. Finally blending it with white. Since I don't have peach nude shade, I'm just making my own peach shade for the lips. And now let's continue with the skin. Taking the medium brown, I'm coloring all over the skin. Now taking the medium brown, I am giving the dark tone with it because I don't want to add muddy look to the skin. Adding too much of darker tone can add the muddy look and I don't want that to happen. Therefore I am using the medium brown to the skin and blend it out the light brown. 
I'm also adding some yellowish tone into it just for highlight the skin. As you can see, I'm adding the chocolate tone into her hand. If I add the medium brown, then it's gonna be blended with her skin. I want her hand to be showed through. Her hair has to be differentiated from her skin. That is the main focus here. So I'm just adding the darker tone. Therefore, the skin and her hand will be showed through. This is a quick tip from me. When it comes to her hand, I add the dark tone slightly in because I want to differentiate the hand from her body. The way the hand looks way more intense and clear view from the rest of her skin tone. Coming for the hips, I'm giving a dark tone to the hip with medium brown and going all over with the light brown in it. Now let's color her wavy flowy hair. Taking these four colors, I'm using the chocolate shade first and adding couple's hair thread. I almost forgot to color her uh, ears. Now coloring it with medium brown and light brown. Back to the hair. I'm not coloring, just adding the wavy kind of lines. Now taking the black and adding the lines again. Next, I'm picking up the burgundy tint brown and I'm just blending the black into the brown so there's no harsh line and that black doesn't showing through. This is how this, it looks like and keep repeating the same process to get the flowy hair look. Keep adding the hair strength. Follow the pencil lines. We have erased with need eraser, but it will still be visible. We are not erased completely. The needed eraser only will lay some with some grey tone into the paper. Keep repeating the same process. And I'm also adding the fourth color, the red tint brown just for depth but it's totally optional it's up to you Now taking the light grey, grey tinted white and light brown, I'm gonna color the seashell. First, taking the grey shade, I'm just laying out a bit. And then I'm gonna blend it out with the grey tinted white. I'm also slightly adding the light brown into it. To make it more intense, I'm just gonna color a dark pink and a yellow to the seashell.
Next, I am going to color the necklace. I am taking the blues and this one is the lightest blue in the color palette. As you can see, these two colors are darker than it. Keep it aside as I got to use for the background as well. And start layering with the dark blue and medium blue. And blending it out with the lightest blue. Adding the grey tint white. This is the real white, and this is the grey tint. You see the difference. I'm using the grey tint for the necklace. Stripe on a top and a skirt. This way, this one look a white. It will be slightly a grey tone. Now taking the reds, dark, medium, and light. I'm coloring her top. Starting with the dark red and medium red, then blend it out with the light red. Being very careful not to color her stripe. I give her skirt same red as well. For her eyeballs, I am taking the light brown and slightly adding some black for the depth and going all over with light brown again. For her eyebrows, I am going all over with the black, just filling it. Now adding some colors to the seashell in a background. It's beach vibe, so it needs to be colorful and fun. And what a cute little starfish. I really like that starfish. I really want that to be there. Comment down below which one is your favorite. I'm waiting to read your comments and get to know which one is your favorite one so far. We are halfway there, now let's color the ocean water, taking the darkest color and the blue green shade, I'm just layering out and I do forget the water has to blend with the beach. So let's color the beach first, taking yellowish brown and lighter brown with some white blending on it. I'm just creating the beach effect remember the water will splash it down to the beach so it needs to be blended up that's what i'm creating right now Now I can feel the character is popping out of the paper and that's what I want with the lighter color and the character is in a dark color I give the skin tone with a dark color and I can finally feel the character is popping out of the paper it can show through that's what we want and now let's coloring the sorry layering the ocean with the light blues when it comes to blending, I choose the grey tint white because I think it will give a depth to the ocean and it does. I'm super happy with it. If the white, I think it could be having some problem with the blending, I guess. This one has uh, some grey tint on it. So I really like the great tint one. I'm super happy with the decision that I made to blend it with the great tint white. Finally, let's give some lines with the drawing pencil. There is so many 
shades in this and I'm looking for 5B pencil. Let's give some length for the depth. Eyebrows. Her eyeballs. Eyelashes. Nose. Lips. Her necklace. And I'm also giving some detail to the necklace. Her top, of course, adding the details for it. When it comes to I'm detailing the seashell she's holding to, I'm really doing it very carefully not to slip the pencil in it because that way it doesn't look nice. So be careful when you are detailing with the 5B pencil. 5B pencil is the darker pencil so it needs to be careful. That's it for today's video. It looks pretty amazing. I love it. Honestly, I had so much fun with it and I learned so many tips and tricks in it. Happy to share with you guys. If you guys enjoy, drop a big thumbs up and I hope you guys have a delicious evening. We'll see you next week. Until then, bye!